if there's one company that's truly daft over here in the United Kingdom, it has to be this. This particular company and this particular individual. That's right, we're talking about the BBC, publicly funded and funded by the taxpayer, you and I, particularly if you live over here in the United Kingdom. But the bigger problem now that they have is that they have a one million plus pound a year presenter, Gary Lineker, who has spoken openly on his own social media accounts against the British government. So much so, it's resulted in an ongoing battle between him and the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman. Now, Mr Lineker says that he doesn't have any problem with speaking out and will continue to do so. But worse than that, this has now happened. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the very heart of England, shall we say today? A very snowy England. I don't know where you are in the world, but yes, I can see I'm turning white, so we won't be too long out here. But the bottom line is this, you know, Gary Lineker has once again broken, some many people say, uh, the impartiality rule of the BBC, spoken out openly against the government's migrant plan, which, of course, really, he shouldn't do. He should have a morality clause, which is attached to his contract within the BBC. But the bottom line is, so far, he's not been reprimanded. And the reports coming out now are simply this, that the BBC are sticking with him and backing him. This has resulted in an absolute onslaught of people now refusing to pay their licence fee. In fact, it's an open court. There's no way that they can come back from this. And it's incredible to think that one single presenter the highest paid presenter on the BBC corporate channel is allowed to do this. But according to Mr Lineker, via social media, he's had numerous conversations with the BBC Director General, Tim Davey, and apparently he's in full support. Maybe a little bit of a telling off, but the bottom line is this. Now, as you can imagine, in this cost of living crisis, if you have to pay the £150 plus TV licence fee a year, and you're allowed to have this particular information fed to you via their own personal social media account, alongside other very expensive negotiations, it makes it very difficult, doesn't it, for them and you as the company boss to make sure that you can keep these people in check. Seemingly, though, according to that particular individual, they don't care. And seemingly what they're saying is that Mr Lineker is entitled to his own opinion, as he's agreed, and this is a personal opinion because although he has a contract, he's also part of a freelancer. But this, the bigger picture, is for the British public. Will they continue to pay for people that they feel are outspoken, going against the actual grain, and more importantly, attacking the British government, when above all, the BBC should remain impartial, particularly in government matters. This is a developing story and it's going to get bigger and bigger. But as ever, I'd love to know whether you have something similar in your part of the world. Once again, is it the voice of the people being overridden by the people with lots and lots of money? Do the mainstream media now simply do not care about you, the individual that perhaps buys their streaming services or indeed their newspapers digitally or over here in the United Kingdom, the BBC? Have the likes of Gary Lineker won the right to be as powerful on social media as they wish to be without any pullback? As ever, let me know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of England.